Immunology can be kind of a pain in the ass for many students because it's really the definition of alphabet soup. IL-2, TNF-alpha, C3B. I am confused. So in an effort to make this as painless as possible, we're going to start off nice and simple. We're going to introduce some key cells of the immune system and how they develop from their common stem cell precursor. Think of this like that page at the beginning of the book that introduces all the characters before you really get into the story. And so this is the typical kind of chart that you'd see in a textbook that traces leukocyte progenitor cells to their various terminal differentiation points. But here at Sketchy, we like to make things a little more fun. We're going to teach you this chart by going back in time to when a young poet became king of the immuno realm, and he gave rise to a very important family tree. All right, so let's take it from the big daddy himself. That's right, it's Matt the Poet King, and he represents hematopoetic stem cells. Now, you'll notice he looks like a baby, and that's because he represents sort of the very infantile stages of these cells, right? Every other cell will develop and mature from this hematopoietic stem cell. So these hematopoietic stem cells are immature, undifferentiated cells, and they're produced in the bone marrow, hence why our tapestry hair is hanging from this bone. These cells will eventually differentiate. This one hematopoietic stem cell gives rise to erythrocytes and platelets and leukocytes, which is the branch that we're primarily interested in here. So hematopoietic stem cells give rise to two types of progenitor cells, just like our King Matt here gives rise to two branches of his family. On one side, beneath his majesty, we have the myeler family. We'll use those to symbolize the common myeloid progenitor cells, which will become granulocytes and monocytes. Don't worry, we'll come back to what all of that means. But know that these cells are going to be important during the innate immune response. And again, we'll talk a lot more about innate versus adaptive later on. Anyway, here on the right, we have the lymphulet family, and they represent the common lymphoid progenitor cells. They'll turn into natural killer cells or B cells or T cells, and we'll circle back to them in a little bit. 